Right, here we are. Extraction number two, camera number two. Now we gotta wade across the, the stream here. Breaking mosquitoes. See if we see our camera, which we don't yet. This was my biggest concern that it might be underwater because the water got so high in here. Coming over here a couple weeks ago, right after the rain, there were three different places in the main road that were washed out, and I was thinking, uh, I know it's rainproof, I'm not sure it's underwater proof. I was a little worried I might get pictures of wood ducks and brim and bass and stuff like that, but it looks like looks like it's okay. All right, extraction number two, I got the camera, this is what it looks like. I think what I'm going to do is uh, probably hunt on the other side of the creek, see if I can get a tree where I can see down the creek and see if anything's crossing back and forth. Again, I'm basing this on just a bunch of old rubs up and down this little finger channel right here. Plus this is the first, the first time I've put a camera down in here so that'll give us an idea of what if anything is moving through here. Hopefully Again, a lot of what I'm basing this on is going to be hunting pressure through the course of the year and the acorn crop. That tree right there might do it. That might be a good one to... get an idea see what we got here is I'm basing things on these these old rubs and they're kind of all up and down this little corridor right here Mosquitoes are just ridiculous right now, and I'm sure they're going to get worse if if Dorian comes through. We really don't need another 18 inches of rain, but it is what it is. By the time y'all see this, Dorian will have come and gone, so hopefully everybody will come out okay. We'll find out. Stay tuned.
here we are. It is the Saturday of Labor Day weekend. My area is just getting over 34 inches of rain in about three and a half days. And it looks like the water's already down pretty good. So this is, uh, this is trail cam extraction number two, two different spots. Hurricane Dorian is breathing down everybody's throat right here. I'm gonna get the cameras out. Hopefully, they weren't underwater. But I put one out in here last year at the end of the year and got a bunch of deer, a bunch of hogs. So it's definitely a place that I'm gonna consider putting a tree stand. I just gotta figure out which tree. That looks like a good one right there. Camera's down in here across this creek. Let's see if I can. But we have the necessary boots and chaps and moccasin killer. Hopefully, we don't run across any of them, but it is that time of the year. The mosquitoes. Always impressive. But the main thing is making sure the camera is still there. And yes, I see the camera. And that's always a start. Action number two, camera number one. Got number one, and it looks like I'm gonna definitely hunt here regardless, just because of the activity I saw late last year moving through here. Like I said, a lot of deer, a lot of hogs, a coyote, there's a couple of rubs, but we'll definitely hunt down in here. The cool thing is this morning, right as I got into the management area, about halfway down the main road, watched a buck cross the road. Big tall, looked like to be a four point, maybe a five or a six, but definitely a shooter for a management area. Tall, thin rack up over his ears. So now it's just gonna be a matter of picking the right tree to get my climber up. But we'll, we got this area marked already. All right, well, we'll pick our way out of here and then Get down to camera number two. All right, stay tuned.